Hello guys, it's Amanda and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm so so excited because today's video is the mid-year freak out tag. It, I can't believe it's already halfway through 2022. It's June of 2022. Anyway, so today's video I'm going to be showing you all the books I've read so far in 2022 and then also do the mid-year freak out book tag. So let's get right into it. Okay, I got an entire stack of books here and it's too heavy to hold up. All right, so let's see, how many books do I have here? Let me count. And when I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at Goodreads just to look at the scores that I gave the books. And there are some books that I don't have here physically with me. That's why I'm looking at my phone. Also, phone, look at this phone case. I have read 13 books so far. I am almost done with the 14th book. I have like only 100 pages left, but yeah, I'm filming this video before that. So basically I've read 14 books this year so far. The first book that I read was Homebody by Rupi Kaur. This is a poetry book filled with poems. Uh, I really did enjoy it. I gave it a four to five stars. This poetry collection was very relatable because it did have a lot of mental health stuff in it and deeper topics. So definitely look up the trigger warnings before you go hop into this book. But I did really enjoy it because I really liked the illustrations throughout the whole book. And it was very, it was a very good read. I read it within like two days and it was so so good. The second book I read was Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita. This is a part of the Twisted Tale series of the Disney Twisted Tale series that I absolutely love. I have all of them on my shelf over there. So this one was the Twisted Tale on Frozen and I did like it. Um, I gave it a four to five stars. It wasn't the best retellings out of the entire series. The whole twist on it is what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? Like the story, like there wasn't anything like drastically big that happened. It was just like, okay, if they didn't know each other. So Anna is a villager in Arendelle and Elsa is actually still the princess of Arendelle. There wasn't really, there wasn't much of a good twist on it. It was still good to read because I love Frozen and it was just a nice escape. But other than that, it wasn't great but i still gave it a four to five stars just because i love frozen a lot so that's the second book i read the next book i read was i think my favorite book so far this year so far and that is the invisible life of Addie larue by v e schwab v e schwab is now my new favorite author because i love this book so much i gave this a five out of five star i actually filmed an entire vlog dedicated to this book, so go definitely check that out. I loved this book so, so much. It was so magical. You guys know how I don't really like present day or books that are set in the present day. I don't like that in books, but this book did it in such a wonderful way that I absolutely loved because this book, we follow Addie LaRue. She makes a deal with the devil to live forever back in the 1800s. So it does, the storyline goes back from 1800s to 2014 and I like how the story is set up that way so like every other chapter is like it's like a whole big story that all connects at the end and I absolutely loved this book because when we are in present day it is set in New York City and I love New York City I'm gonna live there when I'm older so it was just a really good book to read and I absolutely loved it. The romance oh I just I cried so much at it I loved it so so much and yeah I will definitely leave that vlog up in the eye and down below for you to watch. The next book I read was Beasts and Beauty. This book of short stories and they're all fairy tales and they're all like twisted in their own way. And I absolutely really liked this. I gave it a four out of five stars. Some of the stories were a little odd. It is a very odd book, but it's still very good. My favorite ones were the Beauty and the Beast retelling in there. I really loved that. The only thing I didn't like about the Beauty and the Beast thing because they was that the ending of it was a little odd. The um, illustrations in the this book were so, so beautiful. And my second favorite was the Peter Pan retelling, which is the very last one. Originally, I was going to give this book a three out of five, but until I read the Peter Pan retelling at the end, that's what boosted it up to a four out of five. The Peter Pan retelling, it just broke my heart. I loved it so much. And if you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. But 
Oh my god, I loved that part so much and that was definitely my favorite story out of the whole book. The next book I read was Legendary, which is the second book in the Caraval series. I did a review on this series on my channel, so go definitely check that out. The gist of it, Caraval is a carnival circus that comes in every single year and two sisters, Scarlet and Tella, get to go one year. But the intriguing thing about this circus is that if you do get a ticket to Caraval, you are then a part of the game. You get to participate in the circus. And I loved this series so much. Definitely go check out my review. It's completely non-spoiler, so go check that out. Um, but I read Legendary, which is the second book in the Caraval series, and I gave that a five out of five stars. Then next up, I read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I love Harry Potter. I've never actually read through all of the books that in order. <sighs> so I read Chamber of Secrets and I read that on audiobook and I gave it a four out of five stars. Next up, I read Finale, which is the third book in the Caraval series, and I gave that a five out of five stars. Next up, oh God, I hate this book so much. I'm sorry. If you like this book, I'm sorry. But the next thing I read was Hooked by Emily McIntyre. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. Hooked. I did not like this book whatsoever. So this is a Peter Pan retelling, and that's obviously why I wanted to pick it up, because I love Peter Pan. But this, as I'm starting to read it, I didn't know that it's in present day. Like, I get where they were going with it, but I hated it. It's all modern day. Hook is a dude named James, his nemesis, Peter Pan. Basically, like, they're all drug dealers, and the drug that they are dealing is pixie dust. And then Hook finds this girl named Wendy, and she he gets entwined with her. I just hated this book so much. I read, like, 200 pages of it, and then I DNF'd it. I, um, I gave it a one out of five stars. This book is cringy, and it's extremely smutty, cringy, and horrible. And no, I gave this a one out of five stars. Next, I read Anne of Green Gables. I read this on audiobook. I gave this a four to five. My goal for 2022 and just in life in general, I want to slowly make my way through the classics. So I read Anne of Green Gables on audiobook and physical copy. I gave it a four to five stars and I absolutely loved it. I like, I love the story of Anne and Green Gables and the imagery and the, it was just a very magical book and I really, really enjoyed it. Next up, I read another V.E. Schwab book, which is A Darker Shade of Magic. I love this. As I said, I'm still in the second book. I'm almost done with the second book right as we speak, but this I absolutely love. So the basis of Dark Shade of Magic is, oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> what really intrigued me into reading this, I didn't know a lot going into it. I just know that there are four Londons, Black London, Grey London, Red London, and White London. And our main character, Kel, can, he's a magician and he's like one of the last magicians of the kind. He can travel through each different London and that's very rare. So that's basically where our story takes off and then he meets a thief named Lila and then they go through their adventure throughout all the Londons and it goes way deeper into the story with the next two books. But I really am enjoying this. I have a hundred pages left of the second book which is A Gathering of Shadows and I'm really enjoying this. So I gave um, a Dark Shade of Magic, a five out of five stars. The next book I read was an odd one. My dad and I read this together, and that is William Shakespeare, The Merry Rise of Skywalker, Star Wars Part the Ninth. So if you didn't know, they have made Star Wars into Shakespeare. They have written out all Star Wars, all nine of the movies into Shakespeare. And that's all I have to say. I gave that a four out of five stars. Next up, I read To Kill a Mockingbird for school, and I gave that a three to five stars. I did, I read this for school, like I said, I did a lot of projects on it. Um, it wasn't my favorite read, definitely not something I would pick up, but again, I had to read it for school, so I gave this a three to five stars. And then finally, I read The Lost Spells. This is basically a poetry book, and it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous, like every single page, there's art on every single page, and some pages are just complete, like there's no words on it and there's just beautiful images of wildlife and it is such a magical book. It was a really magical book to read. It took me a day 
not even a day, like an hour or so to read the whole book. It was a very fast read because like, like I said, there's very little words on each page and there's sometimes not even words on every page. But I did just gift this. I don't have the physical copy with me anymore. So that is all the books that I have read in 2022 so far. Now let's get on to the freak out tag of this video. So the first question is what is your favorite book so far that you've read? I think my favorite book this year, I think, has definitely been Caraval. I read Caraval in December of 2021 and then continued it out through 2022, so I'm still counting it. Um, but definitely Caraval is my favorite book so far I've read this year. Number two is what is your favorite sequel of this year? My favorite sequel, I think, is definitely um, A Gathering of Shadows, which I am currently reading right now. Um, that is the second book of the Dark Shaded Magic series. Number three is what is a new release that you're excited for? in 2022. Hmm, I didn't think about this yet. There is a book that I just found. Let me look it up. Okay, this book is coming out on August 23rd, 2022. It's called Lost Rings and Other Things. It seems like something I would really, really enjoy. It deals with magic. First line in the um, little splurb is, we forgot magic's presence in a world long ago, but they did not. And there are some who want revenge. 16 year old Emily can make anything she touches disappear. Not a bad skill for a thief. In a realm ruled by magic, her ability should grant her an easy life. Whoever struck in the commons, along with those unlucky enough to be born without magic, stealing to survive is anything but easy. So this sounds like a really, really pretty book. And the cover of this is so, so pretty too. It just looks like something I would really like. And that comes out in August of 2022. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Number four is what is your most anticipated release of 2022? I don't know any of the new releases that are coming out. This book just came out um, May 25th, 2022. This one is called Tall, Dark, and Evil, A Paranormal Romance. Seems very interesting. Five Realms University is an open battlefield. After surviving three years of pranks, insults, and occasional attempted murder, Alice thought she knew the rules of the game. One encounter with Rakes, the golden prince everyone adores, shows her just how mistaken she was. She's his for their last year at five. No one can save her from his clutches until an actual war comes knocking at the doors. This seems interesting. And the cover of it looks very interesting too. So that is another ant anticipated release I'm excited for. Number five is what is the biggest disappointment so far this year? I think we can all guess. Hooked. That's all I have to say. Number six, what is your biggest surprise? I think I... I honestly am very surprised at the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. I didn't know a lot going into it, so I was like kind of on the fence because I was like, I was scared like I wasn't going to like it, but that was my biggest surprise. I'm actually very surprised that I'm liking it this much and I'm really, really grateful that I do like it this much. Number seven, who is a new author you've read this year? V.E. Schwab. <laughs> I absolutely love V.E. Schwab's writing and I want to read everything of hers now because I all of my favorite books this year have been V Schwab's and I'm very excited. <laughs> Number eight, who is your newest crush? Mm, I think definitely Julian in the Caraval series. I like Julian. I really like Julian. Number nine, who is your favorite new character? I'm really, really enjoying Lila Bard in the Dark Shade of Magic series. She's a thief and she's very witty and has my kind of humor and I really, really enjoy her. Number 10, what is a book that has made you cry? <sighs> The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I was sobbing by the end of that book. I, it was not pretty. <laughs> Number 11, what is a book that made you very happy? I definitely really liked um, Anne of Green Gables. That just always lifted my spirits after whatever. And so listening to that, it really did really heighten my vibe. Number 12 is what is the most beautiful cover that you've of a book that you've read so far? I, the most beautiful cover is definitely The Lost Spells. And that's the most beautiful book I've read this year because all the art that's in it is so, so gorgeous. Number 13, what is a book that you need to read by the end of the year? Ah, what do I want to read? Let's look at the, the bookshelf. Oh, here. These are the books that I want to read by the end of the year. And that is The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. And then The League of Gentle, Gentle Women Witches. I'm dropping everything. But these are the books that I definitely have to read by the end of the year because these just look so up my alley and I'm so excited to read them. Number 14, what is your favorite book slash movie adaptation you've watched this year? Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables. I definitely loved the movie adaptation of that and I am slowly getting through Anne with an E on Netflix. So definitely that. So I'm really enjoying that. Okay, that's it. We're done. Those are all the books I've read so far in 2022 and I'm so excited to see what else I read in the coming mon months. Again, I still can't believe 2022 is halfway through 
already. That is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, hit subscribe if you have not already, and click the notification bell so you've been notified every single time that I upload. And if you want to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, Pinterest, and in between the pages of a book. And as always, remember to be the Captain Jack Sparrow of your story, and may our compass lead you to amazing things. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.